share with you a picture of what's happening at the school level. We've talked about the data points that have been shared from the district level and at the university level. And what I'd like to share with you now is, is how this is how this is playing out at the school level. I'd like to put a face on some of these issues that have been shared with you. So here at Underwood this year, two of our teachers have had their homes go into foreclosure. One amazing teacher who left California 11 years ago is still making $20,000 less in teacher pay than when she left California. She and her husband have recently had serious discussion and have decided that in order for her to fulfill the financial responsibilities to their family, she will need to leave teaching, which is a career that she loves. She's an amazing teacher, um, wonderful with students, phenomenal test scores, but due to her financial responsibility to her family, she's, going, she's looking for a career outside of education. In December, one of our greatest teachers at second grade level got a job with a local insurance company. And again, the deciding factor was the salary. She and her family decided that there was an offer there that, that would help her have financial security and would allow her family to achieve the goals that they had as a family. And without any hope in sight or compensation similar within the field of education which she loved, she was left with no alternative other than to leave education after 12 years in the classroom and numerous years of study prior to that to prepare to be a teacher. A teacher at our school who is raising two daughters qualifies for food stamps. Two of the greatest teachers that we have here at our school are leaving North Carolina. One left in August to go to Texas. One will be leaving in June to go to Colorado. Both wonderful teachers who are leaving North Carolina because they have no hope of a salary that will allow them to live comfortably without daily stress and strain and worry about paying for basic things, rent, not to live lavishly, but to fulfill basic financial requirements. If a successful, positive, beautiful school like Underwood that has so much community and parent support and great kids, um, if we're losing teachers, this represents 25% of our classroom teachers. If we're losing teachers at this rate, What's happening in other schools around the state that may not have as much support from the community, that may not have a beautiful facility? Who's gonna, who's gonna go and teach children in those schools if we're losing 25% of our classroom teachers in one year? Without great schools, our state of North Carolina is going to suffer, and that affects everybody. That doesn't just affect teachers. That affects all of us, whether you have children or not. Without great public schools, this state will suffer. And what everybody must remember and what everybody needs to keep in mind is that it doesn't matter how much parental support you have. It doesn't matter how supportive your administration is. It's the teacher in the classroom that makes it happen. That's where it starts and ends. It's the teacher that we have to support and we have to do it now. It has to happen now. 